Right, hello everybody, welcome to Brainless Chaos, game number 12. Um, 150 TV up is nice. He's got he's got money in the bank, so I, I don't regret being 140 TV up, um, because he would have bought those anyway. He's got three mighty blow. He's got block on his throw ra. Both throw ra's. Mighty blow on his blitz ra's. Mostly unskilled tomb guardians, he does have a block tomb guardian. A strength skeleton. So this is this is a pretty tough matchup by the looks of it. 10-0-2, yeah. So he's a good coach. With a tough matchup, that's that's just what I like to see, isn't it? <laughs> um so right, I've just got a I don't know. Well at least I've got a blodge ball carrier. Oh, he's gonna get fucking bolted, won't he? Um Do I buy a wizard? I guess I have to. I guess I have to, because this is a ridiculously tough match. So I just have to. I just literally have to buy a wizard. This guy's one ten lost two. His his team is almost a direct counter to mine. Um I have to buy a wizard. Have to buy a wizard. There's no there's no doubt about it. Um He's not spending anything of his own, which is good, despite the fact that he knows I bought a blitzer. So there you go. I've got to win this, haven't I, now that I've cheated a wizard. Yeah, Agility 5 Goat is good though, isn't it? Agility 5 Goat is really good in the um in the end. It might it might let him win a game um in the playoffs if he makes it. You never know. Pretty powerful Agility 5 Goats. I've got an Agility 5 Goat and in, in Fumble and it's it's pretty amazing. Wrestle and uh at least I think it's just Agility 5 Wrestle. Um that's what my one is. Because I thought, you know, I could go for the boring block sure hands kind of way or you can go for the exciting wrestle and uh maybe leap you know it's it's good isn't it or dodge well you'd go dodge first wouldn't you right so hopefully he'll use his um he'll use his reroll on his wizard on offense to get a touchdown that's the plan as much as it is Save this. Hopefully it'll. Hopefully this will actually save. I don't think it will, but hopefully it will. I'm sick of having to change it every time. Why does God let that happen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. GD5 is amazing. This is this is going to be rough, really rough. But hopefully my advantage in TV, which gives me basically nothing. I mean, the good thing, like, because obviously skeletons are the absolute perfect thing against piling on, because they're armor claw pom, because they're armor seven with regen and thick skull, the absolute perfect anti piling on player. Um, but tomb guardians are like the best person to pile on, aren't they? Um, it's just if I've got no guard, so getting a two dice on them is going to be very difficult. And he's just gonna, he's got three mighty blow of his own to tear through me. Agility, uh, strength five, that I can't stop making blocks. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be pretty rough. I reckon this is gonna be a rough game, but look, at least I've cheated in a wizard to give me, to give me more of a chance than I should have, so that's good. Oh god, arbitrary turking. Oh dear. He's a proper troll, isn't he? I'll reply to him. I'll reply to him with my lizard man team. On fumble. That's a, that's a good reply, isn't it? God, trolls. I know you shouldn't feed the trolls. But.
Oh, his guy got hit by a rock. He's mighty blow. Okay, only stunned. Nah, it's not. It's not Flashbinder. This is a horrific matchup because he's not going to let me two dices. He's not going to let me two dices, Tomb Guardians. Because he's ten. He's won ten, lost two. So he's a good coach. He's not going to let me two dices, Tomb Guardians. And he's just going to make a Kaz on turn one. Um, which I guess I can't apple. So he just gets a turn one kill. Great. I love. I love Blood Bowl. I've said before, say it again, I love Blood Bowl. Um, yeah, I don't know what you... I mean, it doesn't really mean anything, Ronin, man. You need to give me more parameters than that. You need to give me more parameters than... What is it good? Yeah, one ten lost two, he has to have intention. Grindo. Welcome to turn one. I haven't had a turn with eleven players in this match yet. <laughs> Might do because I've got I've got the reserve. What does that mean, friendly tournament? Like how many, how many people are in it? How many? When? What format is it? You know. You're gonna end after twenty games. Well, that's a long, isn't it? I, mean, I just don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know what your question is. So I don't know. I'll let chat sort it out. I've got to think about trying to play a game. Well, I said he wasn't going to let me hit a hit a guy, but he's let me hit a guy. The only thing is the pylon is going to leave me massively exposed. But I could blitz this one, I guess. But it's still going to be massively exposed. Got to go for his mighty blow guy, haven't I? Guess I should have thought I couldn't whiz that. Oh yeah, great. Sweet pushback. Call upon removing a player every turn. Pretty well. <sighs> That's a league, then, Ronin, man. So then nine. <laughs> Just have one, just have one game against everybody. Play nine games, have it a season, and then people might see it through till the end, and then have a cut and have the top two or four players play off, maybe if you want, something like that. Yeah, one one game versus each, because two it, people drop out. You know, you can just have two seasons, and I hate that. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. That's what I hate about OCC and UKBBL and everything. They have these leagues of like 10 people and um, you know they have they have like I don't know I don't know what the OCC has but UK people has leagues of 12 people and they play each other once so you get an 11 game season OCC could be 10 and you have a 9 game season but I'd rather have an 18 game season you know and actually have it like a proper football season but they just don't do it because it doesn't work because people get pissed off and quit. You know, that's the thing. So better to keep the season short and just more seasons. Keeps people keeps people interested till the end and that. 
because obviously not everybody, not someone gets banged on, don't they? That's that's the thing. What happens in a league is somebody gets banged on every time, and even you know, no matter how good anybody is, someone gets banged on, and uh, people don't like being banged on <laughs> as a rule. If I fireball, I'd have to get both down. Then still wouldn't be able to blitz him. Could get the ball and pass it to him or something, but no, I think no fireball this turn, no bolt either. Bolt would mean putting a guy here, two dicing this guy. It could almost work actually. The bolt could almost work, but um no. Yeah, the schedule and oh man, it's why I stopped playing blood fumble. Like uh, fumble tournaments are like the best or the pinnacle of online blood balling and I had to quit them because it just does my fucking head in trying to get a game so I can either blitz him and be completely out of position I can either claw palm and blitz him and be completely out of position or I can just not claw palm blitz so this is the, the strength of chems isn't it all these strength 5 guys oh, well I wouldn't have got the knockdown anyway so I'll go there so he can't even if he even though he's not guarding the sideline, he would he couldn't he can't like outrun himself there, can he? I guess I've gotta to, gotta to put him one on one there just so he can't get the uh get the claw palm guy. Oh, I guess he can go one forward. Next to Next to his buddy. I'm gonna just stand there for now. Oh, in fact, no, I'm double double mark him, can't I? That's probably better. Even though he's irrelevant. At least getting the two dice on straight away. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, Kurgle, yeah. VIP Kurgle. Yeah, that was, that was really good, yeah, Grindel, I really like that. Yeah. Yeah, well, think, think, it was think fast, actually, Kurgle, wasn't it? It was one of the great things about think fast. Fashtastic one day tawnies will be it'll be the absolute best. We'll have fashtastic one day tawnies and fashtastic leagues and it will just be the fashtastic league will just totally be play your game on Saturday or you fucked. Saturday at three PM. So he's gonna try and push down maybe a little bit, but he can't he can't realistically get the ball very safe. And obviously it leaves himself open to a potential fireball into surf or whatever. <laughs> Fair enough, brain on slugs. Fair enough. Nah, so he's not. He's just trying to get there a little down a little bit. This could be a bolt, though, couldn't it? This could be a bolt. Got the strength five blitz from him is nice, isn't it? I could, but I could fireball this. Because either, either Tomb Guardian going down gives us a 2D on the ball to serve him. And the ball carry going down is obviously good, isn't it? I think this is a fireball situation. Zero out of three. Yeah, any one of these that goes down is good, isn't it? Zero out of three income. Yeah, I guess a bolt gets him down and it's a guaranteed surf then. But the fireball hits four people. And if it knocks this one down, I can block him down, block him down. 
I think the fireball is just too good. So there you go. It it was. I, I decided to go for the bolt. I went. I went for the bolt in the end. I just bolted this guy. Um, I figured it wasn't really worth going for the uh, lightning bolt, so I went. I just went for the. Uh, I went for the lightning bolt in the end. Right, so he can get blitz, can't he now? Straight in, or maybe somebody else. You know, everyone else is tied up, so he does it just because. Then I've got to hit someone else back to get haven't I? He can surf me after this, but you know, if he um, if he if he counter surfs, then he's not getting the ball and stuff, is he? So. Oh god, look at the canoring threat! Oh my fucking life! <laughs> this is brilliant. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, blitz him. Alright, the guy next to him can just blitz him. And now I can block him. Or I could just blitz the him with him. Alright, he blocks him. Because he's got block. Counter surf is easy, but if he gets the if he gets that, then he's he's banged on in terms of in terms of the game, isn't he? That's my thinking there. This is without block, though. I've done the blitz. Fucking derp. Fucking derp. I could 1D him, and the one he can block him off to free him up, one, which is pretty bad, isn't it? So I guess I'm going to have to 1 dice the um, the Tomb Guardian at the end. Obviously got to reroll the pickup. Fuck me. Why can't I just... One game where I don't get banged on. Yeah, I already blitzed, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got I got there in the end. I realised I'd served in the end. I realised I'd blitzed and served him in the end. Now my claw palmer gets two diced. Hundred and ten percent dedication to brainless chaos. Got the better ball carrier though to pick up, but then I don't want to pick up the better ball carrier because I want to counter wizard, don't I? I want to counter the wizard. I mean, it is an easy counter surf, but if he counter surfs, he's not going for the ball, so. I can always just make a fucking dodge and save him and surf that way, can't I? Oh shit, this guy's really fast. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI. Mm -hmm. Shada. My cheeky whiz is working wonders though, isn't it? Holy shit. Cheeky whiz. Um, they've won nine, drawn two, lost none at the moment. VIP, Mr. Yamandem. Chaos, I love them. Yeah, nine, nine now. Nine, well it was, it was nine, they were nine, one oh, and then I drew one. At the end, they were they were never eight to all. It was a bit shit having to go for the pickup with a wrestler, wasn't it? But I didn't know. But I could have made this block without the block and then ran to pick it up with a block guy. But I just didn't want to. Oh, he didn't, he didn't hit the, um, oh yeah, he hit him to free him up, yeah, rather than hitting the claw pawn, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's not really Omadon, because it's 1500 and there's just nothing, nothing very exciting about the team. I've got some block guys, I'm getting absolutely banged on, as expected. <laughs> 
This is not surprising for me. Getting out bashed, of course. Um, down three players. Oh, he's down one though, thanks to the uh, thanks to the wizard. Not best for go. Gotta go for the claw bomb dodge in the blitz and assist this block in the pick up with him and run away. I don't say well I guess I could blitz with him, block with him, into him dodge away and pick up and run away. Is that probably the safer play? He can stand up I guess. He can base him at the end. Yeah, I, I cheated a wizard, Dragon King. Because I knew it would be a ridiculously tough matchup. I knew I'd get outbashed to fuck and there's nothing I could do about it. Of course. See, I'd, I'd like to run away with him, but then he's going to get bolted and I really, really, really don't want him to get bolted. So... But I don't want him to get bolted, but I also don't want him to get blocked. So I reckon blitz him from that direction. Then I've definitely got a strength four bludger next to the ball at least. Alright. Can't even block a skeleton. He can dodge away at the end, he can dodge away at the end. And until then. Scram. Alright, good. So you can get blitzed by him, so I guess I'll just go for this one at least. And then this one as well, fuck it. Alright, good. Made some GFIs. Live on stream. Unbelievable, Jeff. Uh, he can go there to screen that way. How can he get there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. He can't block. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna invest a reroll in this. Better to dodge him out because he's getting hit by a bad man. Okay. Yeah, but I've still got my bludge though. I've still got my bludge strength four then, don't I, if he does get bolted. Which is He is a very juicy bolt, so made a th made two three plus rolls and two two plus rolls. Yeah. Alright, good. He's got no recovery, so that's that's not even that bad. Hello VIP RX nubs and VIP jam toast. Um Yeah, exactly RX nubs. Like who can I like the skills that I've got are good, you know, it's block on warriors. It's the okay, this block is the worst. No, this isn't this is the best block. This guy's the worst block. He died. He's already died. Um, so, you know, there's no one I can really get rid of from skills wise. I just need to get I just need to get more skills because the team at si if I got five more skills at sixteen hundred the team would be amazing. But at fifteen hundred it's a bit meh, isn't it? A bit meh. Hello. The um but yeah, the claw pump though is doing things, isn't he? Just can't score next turn. That's the only bad thing, but yeah, Wizard Gone is brilliant. Hopefully get a stop out of this, because he's only got one one thrower our left. He's in two tackle zones. So hopefully he's not going to score on his drive. Um, yeah, perfect result would have been a one on the Wizard. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, you know, maybe if, to, if I can stop the touchdown, obviously 1-0 up would be the dream. Oh, why he dro dodged on a Tomb Guardian? Was that a miss? I guess he just didn't see him. Look a nerd. <sighs> well played. Muted. Yeah, not a misclick, a miss C. He just didn't see the guy. He obviously didn't see this guy. I've done that plenty of times, not not seen a guy and then you know had to dodge. But to do it with a fucking tomb guardian. Holy shit. 
That's really annoying. Never any justice, is there? Salt levels rising. Yeah. Yeah, of course. You see what he just did? <laughs> cause the salt levels. Rising. At least he hasn't got a reroll for these two GFIs, which just win him win him the game outright, probably. Oh, good. Thanks, God. No, no need to mute chat yet. Yet. Right. He'd have to do a 4 plus 3 plus... Well, no, 4 plus bang. He could make a 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus bang, then he could come out and get it. So... Safe moves first. He can block... Ah, uh, he'll need to get him somewhere. I guess he's just got to get banged on by this guy. Seems unexciting. Right. So he makes a dodge, two GFIs to bang him, which then frees him up to do stuff. Or is that better than just... Depends if I use the reroll on the pickup. Or maybe I just make this dodge. Maybe stand him up. Maybe blitz with him. Maybe make the GFI with him to blitz. Yeah, it's much better, isn't it? Ignore me, I'm being a derp. Not piling on. Unbelievable. Jeff. Oh, fucking hell. Stop failing pickups, you cunts. <laughs> right, so this guy's a problem because he can block him away. Either one can block them away. They can get two guys on them. Um, I reckon I'd make this move. I guess make this 2D while I can. Also gets me out of the tackle zone of that guy. So this is an argument for safe moves last, isn't it? If I hadn't made that warrior move there, I could have um, I could have GFI'd to base him, which would have been really good, wouldn't it? So I, you know, you can definitely argue there that safe plays first was bad. But um, this is great if it works, isn't it? Oh shit! Give me that sliver of hope, and then dash it. But at least his body's in the way, perhaps. Oh, hello, VIP. <laughs> Sorry, I was busy playing a game. I didn't notice you <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> Assault Shaker. <laughs> Never. Hello, Benzy, 1986. Um, yeah, safe moves last would have been better then. Because I could have based him. Now he gets a three die. To free to free up both, so I think I should have done safe moves last. I could have actually double GFI to base both. Would have been exquisite, but now I guess he only gets to one die as a blodger, and he's got to make some GFIs as well because his body's in the way and his tackle zone's in the way. Nurgle does not have an apple. Not allowed. Best Norse team I'll do after the game. Um, Bainsey, because obviously this is a really tough one. If I hadn't had my cheaty wizard, I would have um, I would have been absolutely fucked here. Down three players. Well, he's down one. To be fair. But then that that one is thanks to the wizard. So if it wasn't to, for the wizard, I would have been absolutely screwed. So he's going for the one dice. Two GFIs to one dice of the ball with a blodge. But yeah, I could have shut down that play if I'd done safe moves last. Oh, now he hasn't got a reroll for the second GFI or the six plus. Surely he won't power me here. Yes! <laughs> Glorious. Now the question is can I stall it? And do I want to? Will Kemri be able to two turn on me? Probably not. Um, so, I think I just blitz him and then go for the score. One, two, three, four, five, six. It will mean GFI, which I'll have to re roll. Um, but yeah, I think I've just got to go straight for the touchdown. I don't think I can realistically stall. I could blitz him, run over here. Um, but then he's got this guy. This guy can block him out. 
I think I have to go for the score. He might as well stand. They're yeah, not going to block. Safe moves first, move him there. You never know. Now, if I pump the blitzer, I have to dodge away from the ball. And there's no way I'm going to dodge away from the ball when I can two dice him. I'm not going to lose the game on a one in nine. One in thirty. I'd rather. I'd rather have you know the one in the one in thirty six risk than the one in nine risk. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that this gives me more chance to get my KOs back as well, doesn't it? Giving him his shot at the two turn, which could be crucial, seeing as they both failed. <laughs> Oh god, banged on. <laughs> oh my god, right. What's on the line? All the beast men, even though they're more likely to get hurt. Something like this, as bad as it is, I can't think of a better defense. Oh, well, I guess four, so we can't blitz with a team guarding without go for, going for it. Right. And I guess when I receive, I've just got to score at any point to win if I get if I can stop them scoring here. <laughs> a huge manatee. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is kind of good, isn't it? Because you'd have to blitz one and then make a little pocket and I can go around maybe and get something. Yeah, maybe I should have done. Yeah, target and tantrum. Yeah, maybe I should have done. But it does let the others advance too far, as Jamtol said. But on the other hand, if you. Might have, may have been a good idea. Six, six back, but then. Hmm. Yeah, maybe six back. I don't know. I wanted to deny him getting forward easily, but he does have two reels for two turns, so it's it's possible. But he's got to do a Kemri passing play, hasn't he? Which that's well, nice weather, but still. Provided it isn't a touchback right now. That's a pretty decent kick, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. You can't hand off to a throw rather this turn. He could have handed off this blitz rather, but he's he wants to go down this side. So if he goes six there and then another six and a hand off maybe, he can maybe he can maybe make this, I guess. Like the thing is I'd rather he blitz with a tomb guardian without block than he blitz with a blitzer with block, wouldn't I? So Like this way, he's got a GFI, hasn't he? Which is good. And he can only push. But I guess it does give him a, it does give him a hole for his thrower. And it does maybe give him the surf next turn. I guess. I guess that's that's maybe something I should have. Shitty God died. No, Shitty God just got um something yesterday. Something. Maybe he got apple or something. Um, this guy died today, though. Moo Fagor's died. Nah, he picks up three times out of four, doesn't he? It's not crazy for him to pick up the ball at all. You can't properly protect him, though, can you?
But I guess it's whether I want to make the dodge to hit at all. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. I could double GFI to hit him. Or I could just base them. And then go for the dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there, GFI to hit him. Yeah, maybe I should have gone five back with everybody, so it'd be a double GFI from the Tomb Guardian and GFIs to base. Maybe that's what I should have done. Double GFI to base him. And then one, two, three, four, five, six to hit Blitz. That might be the best play night in it. Double GFI to base. Do the first one if it if it fails and I've had to use my reroll, then go for the dodge blitz. I think that's the play, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I think that's the play. Go for the G the first GFI. See what happens. Yeah, that is very true, VIP Oriolensis. Oh. And VIP don't the coast. Yeah, it is it is a good team for for that sort of thing. I didn't even move this guy. I guess because if he didn't, he would be kind of giving up an easy shot on the ball, wouldn't he? I'm, I'm, I'm not bothered about going for the ball, though. So I think this is the play here. Make the first GFI. Alright, and now I'm committed to just this simple blitz here, isn't it? Got to re-roll it. Got a pile, even though that skeleton might be in scoring range. <laughs> um, the skeleton is in scoring range. But he can base the Tomb Guardian. And then he can double base the skeleton. And I guess he dodges to here. And here. And here. To try to get one base, no. Okay, KO'd. KO'd instead of being surfed and killed, I guess, isn't the worst thing in the world. Oh, don't, oh, Kellis. Well, I don't care. Flashback. <laughs> no offense to. Oh, don't, oh, Kellis. He's, it's not his real name, I'm pretty sure. It's like a prehistoric turtle or something, isn't it, I think. But um I don't know how to pronounce it and really don't care. Oh old old Donto Kellis. Well that is old Donto Kellis. That's the same. They're the same anyway, aren't they? Aren't they the same? I don't want to get into it anyway. I just call him Dave. <laughs> Hi Dave. It's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> ah, double the Le Double Skulls. That's good. But three KOs is brutal, isn't it? But then the good thing is, as I say on my drive, I don't have to contend with a wizard. Could just stall it. Could either try to stall it or could score it either at any time. So, so there's options, isn't there? I'd stop the sewer. He couldn't get people around the back anyway, really, could he? Nice no, doing that, that's fine. Oh, Mamma Mia, oh, Donto, oh, Kellis. No, fuck off. Fuck off, Flashbang. <laughs> it's fake news. It's fake news. All right, come on. Double GFI. Got to be. Got to fail one of these. No? Oh, shit. Banged on. Moves this guy further forward. Oh, no. Clears the tackle zones. Obviously, derp. Derp. I was thinking, oh, that pushes him one forward. It doesn't have a GFI, but he's still got a dodge. No, it just means he doesn't have dodge. Oh my god, another KO, really. <sighs> it's getting the point where I think I should apple this. Fucking hell. I can't, I just can't. 
Opposite of a Lupac game, this, isn't it, by the way? Just in case in case you're used to watching um in case you're used to watching Lupac. I know this is an oddity. I know this is an oddity, but you know. Claw Palm's done nothing. My team absolutely fucked on. And if he evens it up here, which he probably should no, he hasn't got a reroll. Which is what a four plus pass with a reroll, four plus catch. Two plus GFI. He's got he's got pretty good pretty good odds here. Pretty good odds. I really don't hope he scores for the 2k ovens. I'd rather be 1-0 up. <laughs> you know. I'd rather be 1-0 up. 75% pass. 50% catch. It's not even unlikely. Fucking Kemri. Kemri. Fucking losing to a Kemri pass and play. A new low. <laughs> maybe I moved them in the wrong place the extra guy mm. <sighs> not even unlikely is it nah I used my wizard to turn him over alright so so far 2 out of 6 KO rolls Really need it to be four out of eight with these last two. Piling on punished. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have piled on. Yeah, maybe. So block him down, then block him down. I've still got enough players to just barely do that. He can blitz. <sighs> Man. Yeah, exactly, Grindel. It's not the worst, but come on. I would have rather... I'd rather be up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have rather been one nil up. Nah, he's got kicks. So. No, it's it's not it's not it's not my opponent. I'm not gonna I'm not Lupak. I'm not gonna insult my opponent because he um because he he succeeded. He succeeded in the low odds play that he had to do. Oh god, I didn't even assist there. Holy shit! Fuck was that? Not paying attention. Punished with a skull. Oh my god. <sighs> god, is he fucking looking at chat, man? Shit. Fuck this. It's right. Turn off. Turn off chat. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it. Alright, come on. Two back. Alright, good. 11 versus 11. 1-1. One, one. So time for the 2-1. Reverse 2-1 grind. Bizarrely. Fuck was that? I've moved the guy in there. Holy shit. Didn't even get to make the claw pump block. I might blitz him with the claw pump and then just not pile on. I think getting the 2D with him is, is just easier, isn't it? Block him, block him. Get slightly fucked on if he gets a blitz and just powers him straight up. But 3, 4, 5 eventually, just one assist, gets a safe pile on. Is better than um, being crazy. Yeah, it's good that for all the being out bashed, it's actually level at the second half. Made four out of eight KO. No, 
six. I made six in the end. No, no, I need four, four KO rolls out of eight, yeah. team in the game to get perfect defense with your claw prom on the line gets perfect defense with your claw prom on the line oh god oh god can anything go right this game well at least the fireball kind of did and at least it was my misplay yeah maybe my pilot maybe i shouldn't have piled on fuck off you cocksucker jesus fucking maybe Christ. i shouldn't have piled on maybe i should have respected the three gfi into in a 23% passing play that he did. Maybe I should have respected that more. The good thing is that at least he wants to put Tomb Guardians next to the ball rather than just squashing down the line, but holy shit. And I guess could get a could get a touchback three times out of eight. It's a touchback, isn't it? Which is nice. Go the other side. I think maybe I should just not look at chat for the first game of the day so I can at least concentrate a little bit when it's my first game and I'm not in the swing yet. I knew that was a one dice or Lensis. I did point out that I would about to make a 1D. I just fucking moved in the wrong place because I wasn't fucking thinking. So that that's not a bad kick actually. That's not a bad not a bad bounce even. But obviously committed to using the reroll on the pickup. Can't hit anybody. Well can hit him. Can hit him. Could blitz him maybe. Can't hit anybody. Could start with a one die. He could GFI to blitz. But then I want to blitz with him, don't I? Block him, block him, block him, and then he comes up for the blitz somewhere. Block him, blitzes him. Right, okay. Safe moves first. This was, well, there wasn't any. This was the safest move. I've got block, you don't. Armour 7 could break eventually. Yeah, it does. Fucking unbelievable, Jeff. Right. He could block him now for a 2D. And then he could come in to blitz this one. That seems reasonable. Can't cancel that assist now, though, with it being a both down. Fuck. <sighs> Shit. So he cancels the assist. He comes in for the 2D blitz. Don't give up a 2D. Right, so now... I guess he's better where he is, isn't he? Make the pick up, come back here, then he goes over to there. So I guess he might as well go there already. Oh, fucking hell, maybe he picks it up. I really don't want to carry with a wrestle, though. I guess if we've got the ball in hand on a strength 4 blodger, that's good enough, isn't it? Do go back. Where does he go? You can block him down, but there'll still be a thing, or you can block him down, and there'll still be a thing. Assuming I fail the pickup, I think he is better. And assuming I make the pickup, I guess he could go there. Wow, 
Wow, made a pickup. Outrageous. That was pretty good, wasn't it, actually? He didn't go on men's though, did he? He should have, he should have full mans me, I think. In my opinion, he should have full mans there. Let me let me crack. Knock down his whole team and do nothing. Did a Tyrion, yeah, he did. He did. He did the half mans. He could have tie win. <laughs> mm. Oh man, I guess I've had a fair bit of luck this game. No, I wasn't surprised to have my home team knocked out. To be honest, in the death. I just wish, you know, when you get a knockdown armor 7, it would break. And that one did break, so... Can't complain about stuns, can you, really? Realistically, you can't complain about stuns. One of them break for a stun is okay. The others were armor 9. Couldn't get the claw upon blitz. Basing a claw upon seems good. <laughs> I mean, this is the perfect guy to claw pom as well, isn't he? Because he's armor seven without thick skull. So, well, I mean, not claw pom, but like mighty blow or anything. Obviously, claw pom doesn't care about. Doesn't care about um, anything like that. I guess he's going to blitz with this guy, isn't he? And then, um, and then double base the ball. That's why he's getting him on there. And unlike randomly basing the ball, like some people like to do in playoff games, for absolutely zero advantage, double basing the ball is pretty good, isn't it? Especially with strength five. But I can just dodge away and only lose the game on a one in nine. Triple base the ball, in fact, if he wants to bring him in as well. There might be a chain away here, though, might there? But in fact, he probably does want to put in somebody in here. Interesting. Now he's now he's fully basing, of course. Now he's fully basing. So one D here, opening up the turn with a one D seems seems prudent. One D him, get him into there. He blitzes him on one dice. <laughs> oh God! <sighs> he can go there. He can block him. So then he can blitz him, but then can't get anything free. Can free up one guy on a one dice. That's all I've got players wise. Could just dodge him. It's rough, isn't it? I might have to make the dodge. Dodge here. Well, he could blitz him. And then come here. He could block him. He could two dice him. He could then dodge away into a cage. Yeah, but just dodging is a one in nine to lose the game, isn't it? That that's the that's the problem with just dodging. It's um it's never just dodging, is it? It's um Right. I think Claw Pom Blitz is the order of the day. Oh god. Well, I've got to follow and just stay then. Because I didn't knock him down. Oh Christ. One dice him now, I think, is the best thing, and rely on blood. Okay. It's 
So now we can... I can't fucking get around because of this cunt. Seems like all I can do. Like, sure hands doesn't even matter as well, because he can just use a reroll on his fucking guy here. This is kind of safe, isn't it, back down here? God. Right. Uphill him to free up a warrior is probably about the best I can do. Oh, he's based by him, so he might as well base him. Derp. Don't do these 1Ds, because I want to make him do the 1Ds. Can't make that 1D. Didn't want in 9. Yeah, but the thing is, the one the one in six would leave my guy would leave my guy on on the upright with the ball, isn't it? That's the thing. It's so um, it's hard for him to power me, isn't it? It's hard. <laughs> Don't be a pussy. Sorry for it. It's easy to not be a pussy when you're shouting lads, lads, and you're destroying your opponent's team. But when they've actually got eleven players, um, and they've got a massive strength advantage, it's not it's not so easy. You know, you can't just play without thinking and just randomly doing a two dice block like this guy. You know, just he just goes. I'll just brainless chaos it. Um, and yeah, I did one in nine the blitz. That's very true, Faber Craig. But um, block so far would have been better this game because I wouldn't. Have. Also, I've piled on twice with this guy now and it's lost both games. That's good, isn't it? That's good. That's good. The both pile, both pile ons have cost me both games. This this guy, that's pretty, that's pretty nice. Happy about that. Really happy about that. Fucking hell. Shawnee frames, oh shit. Oh no. Um oh, great. Okay, there's no point because this is the last drive. No, rookie, rookie TG gets a cheeky cars. Nice. I can't believe how much I've been outbashed here. Yeah, I've, I've piled on twice and it's lost me both games. Holy shit. I've got nowhere to go now because I've got strength five everywhere. I've got nothing, nowhere to go and nothing I can do. <laughs> it's just stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying it. You're the, you're the prime, you're the prime loop pack basher, Ramadan. Um... Yeah, I, I just thought when he when he got partnered, I noticed he was um, he was a bit of a prick. I hadn't noticed till then. Maybe I just started watching him more then. Uh, he has no fear of the one dice pals. One, 2D there is good, isn't it? I get to make a 2 dice block there, lads, boys, boys, lads. Have to blitz him because I can't risk a 1 in 9. Right, safe moves first, a block. Fuck me, maybe he blitzes him and I make the, the dodge. Because it's going to be such a fucking shit cunt play afterwards. Maybe he blitzes, he comes there. He makes a dodge. I guess he makes a dodge away. 
He goes three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. He makes it dodge. Okay. I got I gotta blitz him, haven't I? No standing up players, that's for noobs. Alright. <sighs> oh god. <laughs> this fucking dodge play <laughs> about to happen here. It's essentially lose the game on a one and nine. Well, not really. He's still gonna pound me, I guess. I could actually dodge this away, couldn't I? Although it's the Tomb Guardians there, it does mean that um, it's not as bad as getting this guy out of it. And it does save my claw pommer from being tied down. Have to one die this now. I'll do a dunno. He could dodge and base him. Like he can free players up and stuff. But um I've still got the ball and a fucking strength for bludger, haven't I? Right, that was a bad timing. Right, one minute left. What the fuck am I gonna do? Dodge away over here. The dodge just means I'm not getting mighty blowed, so I gotta do it. All right, good. Um, dodge here because I do like that guy being there. If if it doesn't fail. All right, good. And then this one. This is the one dice. Is I've got 40 seconds left. <sighs> Right. If I skull, he blocks him. He comes in around somewhere. If I just get a push, at least he's not getting blocked. Yeah, fuck it. Both downs fine. Do I follow? I think I do, because at least he's not hitting him. Right, that was a pretty good... Well, the ground doesn't have my e blow, absolutely, Grindel. But then it would have, you know, it would have occupied him. Now he gets to move, so it's like six and two threes, isn't it? You know, it's not great to um, give up the space. But then on the other hand, at least at least it stops my guys dying quite so much. I I think I made one KO, and it was thanks to the uh, surf, which in and it recovered. So I just haven't made any removals whatsoever. Right, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a sandwich right now. So, um, mighty blow, mighty blow, obviously, Glade Master. Well, oh guard, mighty blow, or guard, but um, definitely not claw before mighty blow. Never, never claw before mighty blow.
Well, I think this is um, this is the turn where I say fuck it and make the one in nine dodge again for the second time. Blitz him, requiring a pow from him. That's the bad thing. Or I could blitz him here, but even then the push is no good. But I guess I could block him afterwards. But um, what I'm probably going to have to do is blitz, requiring a pow. Then move him up there, move him up there, move him up there. Get him out. That's all I can see. Safe moves first. This is shit cunt special here. Got the pow. <sighs> That's okay. Um, right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. So the ball's here. Need a player here and a player here. And a player up there. Fuck okay, it, let's go. Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. I have to make both GFIs. Whew. Wow. Was not expecting that to work. To be fair, I've rolled some good dodges. Um... You could go there to like make a screen across the whole pitch, um, and just get randomly get free as well. I'd really like to block him down. If I score, it's not even that bad, is it? Because he gets he can block him free anyway. If I can get the push down and dodge him round, so yeah, okay, we'll go for one day here. Well, down isn't even that bad, I don't think. Got to finish eating. Oh shit, I didn't think of that. I didn't think of the tomb going double GFI. I guess I should have put the ball here and this guy here, shouldn't I? My mistake. Oh well, there you go, standard. Mm. 
Maybe I should have re-rolled that. Maybe I should just put the Chaos Warrior. But I had a GFI to move the Warrior there. And I wanted him there before I did the dodges, but I guess I should have stood here. So that was my um That was my misplay, wasn't it? Not not standing there. <sighs> could have moved him there and stood there. Or like even this guy could have been here. I wanted him as a cannot ring threat, believe it or not. Well there you go, absolutely fucked on despite cheating a wizard. Kemri are a tough tough team. One dice him for a push. GFI to him. Double GFI to him. It's probably not worth it, is it? I scummed a whiz because I knew it would be a horrific matchup. And Jimmy is, as always, right. Block him for the assist, blitz him, and then just get TZs on the ball. Just super easy for him to get a push to scatter it then. But I guess I've got to be. I'm going to move him last and make the two GFIs. Safe moves first, eh? Well, that's one of them out. Like, he's the one trying to win rather than me at this point. So he's the one that needs the scatter. So if I can blitz him... Block him, blitz him. Move him there, block him. Then at least it's, he's just going to get the scatter, though, and he's probably just going to win. That is the first genuine KO, yeah, because the other one was a surf. Right, I've just got to base him, I guess. I guess I've just got to get Ian. Got to just get banged on. I guess he's got to come in here. Seven break, unbelievable, Jeff. I guess I could I could two D him, and then one D him with claw. Now that would be the greed play, wouldn't it? That would be the absolute greed play. Nah, I, th I, I don't think I'm that greedy. Good, good there. Um, right. Gotta make this block here. Knocking power, don't need a power one. Unbelievable. Made a Kaz. Lee Chen's. Greed um, is good. Greed is right. He can't really affect the play, Greed so maybe works. go for a dodge here, but where does he go afterwards? GFI to there. Where would he come back to? He could GFI to base these two, it'd be pretty bad. He just blitzes, but then he's got to get a That was a big stun, actually, because otherwise he could just move him here to get the blitz in. Now he's got to move an assist into here. So it's not it's actually a bit of a pickle for him. I I guess I'll just do that. Claw hype <laughs> claw hype against Armor 7. Mighty blow hype. First cars hype. Unbelievable. Oh fuck, it's on his block. On his block guardian, what a cunt. Oh an absolute cunt. Block guardian. Block Guardians are cunts, aren't they? They're, they're too good. They're just literally too good. They're already good anyway. They're already like, you know, when we had the CRP Ultra. Oh, I've just realised my camera's still off. 
when we did the CRP Ultra, Tomb Guardians are just busted, aren't they? Because they're, you know, they're a hundred, like, value for money, they're the best. Whereas value for money, Warriors, I mean, they both cost a hundred. Which one of these would you want? Same TV. Which one? Which, which, which of these looks better to you? I mean, I don't know. I think I'd rather have, I think I'd rather have the 4519 at this point. But then obviously warriors are good in that they can dodge around a little bit and do stuff. But um, overall you'd rather have, like the strength 5 is just overwhelming, isn't it? But yeah, finally, with two players out, got a man advantage for the first time in the game. Um, pretty epic. He hasn't got blocks, he's not really going to want to do a one dice to get the scatter here, is he? Yeah, exactly, Gringo, yeah. Fuck off, the guy with the mutation in general, he doesn't have it though, does he? That's the thing, Jesus in a game. Obviously, development-wise, you'd rather have a Chaos Warrior on your team for the long term. But in this particular match... Okay, they're not actually the same TV because it's double for him. These two players are the same TV. And uh, if this was a Warrior with Mighty Blow and it, versus a Tomb Guardian with Mighty Blow, I know which one I'd rather have. Oh man, blocks fucked him. Another match lost because of piling on, maybe. KO'd, great. Oh, fuck me. I can't believe I took piling on on him. Can't believe it. Fucking idiotic, idiotic skill to take piling on before block, you know. It's okay for the loopaks of the world to go piling on. But if you've got a clue, go, you've got to go block first, haven't you? This is the scatter, though, so interesting things can happen after that. He's at least got a strength 5 blitz. I can't even minus 2D him reliably. Oh god, I got no players. <laughs> I got absolutely no players thanks to that stun. If it'd been a both down, he'd been alright, wouldn't it? I, I mean, I've, I've just got to make this block. There's no, there's no two ways about it. See what happens. It's not great, is it? Could blitz him just because it's his guy. Just because it's his guy. Just because it's his um, fucking shithead thrower. Block him. Try for this dodge. To get him to base him. Go for a one dice there. I think I have to knock down. Or at least get his show hands away from the ball. follow then he can't actually push me away from the ball except by him so that seems good and then the question is whether to base him to get a 2d there or to base him and then not make 1ds I mean base him because he's only he's got no rerolls left has he so Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Now nah, the warrior couldn't have made it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe he could have done. 
pro tip Zorks maybe one day, man, kids, but um. Right now, there's looking like there's almost a shot at the ball now, isn't there? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. But this is just a dodge him away, isn't it, at the moment? Blitz him, pick up, dodge away. So he's got to do something. He's just making two Ds. He's going for his Rondo two, two Ds. This is like as good as it gets for me now, isn't it? Blitz him, pick it up, run away. This is fucking pretty exciting right now. Oh shit, he gets a Tomb Guardian into the action. Not so exciting right now. <laughs> Excitement gone. <laughs> Excitement, absolutely gone. Yeah, he's played well. He's 10 0 2. I knew he'd play all right. Well, played well. Block doing something. Excellent. Oh, fuck you. If the armor breaks, it's over. <laughs> Okay, didn't follow though. So, can he score? Not really. Oh, the fucking stun as well. <sighs> the one game where I don't get banged on is all I fucking want. Holy shit! Not much to ask, is it? He's got to dodge to be to be the scoring threat, which is utterly moronic. He could minus 2 DM to get a scatter, but then... He could 2D him just, just because it's fun. Yeah. Got to dodge out now while there's no tackles on. Yeah, I guess I should have re-rolled that dodge out. Touch out and then come in here or something. I'll just dodge out here so he could maybe do something. And as soon as I've got the two re rolls, I might as well make the GFIs. And it was my fault, look, I positioned bad, didn't I, on that on that crucial turn there. Still got a reroll, so I could go for the 1D on him. Just to squeeze him to the sideline so that it's basically his one chance of scoring. I guess he's got a chance of scoring as well. Um I guess he's got no rerolls. Yeah, I missed position to give him the two dice on the ball. I shouldn't have given the two dice on the ball, even though it was two GFIs. It was only two GFIs, wasn't it? It wasn't hard. My fault.
and and once again the piling on piling on lost me the game. He's two for two on losing me games now. Two games I would have won had I not pad pile on <laughs> when I said I'd drawn them. I'm never gonna go the dumb route ever again. So lesson learned. Block down again. Twice block would have been good. And the one time he piled on it was bad. Holy shit, this is a new Hearthstone expansion. Mm. Devil Soul. Oh god, I like dinosaurs. <laughs> Holy shit. Maybe this will be the set that actually makes me become a professional Hearthstone player. Twice with that Tomb Guardian, not with the other fuckers, with a block one. Maybe I should have gone through the dodge through the tackle zone to base him. I did think about basing him. What with him actually being a dynamic player as, as much as they get. Or one player ever. Yeah, exactly, Glaive Master. All it has done is lose me two games that I should have won. Well, not should have won, could have won. Two games I could have won. Instead, he's turned them into draws. So, um, or losses in this case. There's still a chance of a loss here. He does have no rerolls, though. And he's got to make a passing play to eat, well, to the Tomb Guardian. I guess he's got the Tomb Guardian here as he's going threat, hasn't he? Not sure what his play is here. Wow, oh, what an idiot. What an absolute fucking idiot. Oh, please let him be punished for this. Please let him be punished for this. Because now that's I can chain push away his, his tackle zone away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like, is the, my, the minus 2D is, is too risky. Um, but I can power him and clear the tackle zones completely. That was absolutely idiotic. I could go for the pickup handoff and then come around this way. But at the moment, that's probably worse, isn't it? Okay, what's that? That's be a 4 plus pass. Without a chance of an intercept. That's probably better than a 3-3. Three, three. And then 1-2-3-4-5-6. Three, GFI-3. Um, right, I've got two minutes. Let's have a look at um, let's have a look at Samba. So I can go for a 3, put, three plus pick up, 4 plus pass, 3 plus catch. Or I can go for 3 plus pick up, 3 plus handoff, 2 plus GFI, 3 plus pass, 3 plus catch. So it's either a 41% or a 48%. So yeah, just go for the pickup pass. I thought it would be, but you never know. Worth checking out, isn't it? Right, he's got one scoring threat. So go there so I can maybe intercept it if he, um, if he doesn't make it. Fail the first step. Yeah. You know, so he makes his 23%. He makes his 23% play. I can't make a 48% one. Oh, there you go. Let's split ball. Let's split ball. After he fucking absolutely misplayed. He just misplayed to fuck to do that. And his 23% was only after making like two GFIs and stuff as well. And a 2D getting a pal and all this. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, it'd been two twos, yeah. yeah. If I lose this now. This is going like the other fucking team, isn't it? Two wins, two draws in a row. Started off winning games and now it's just fucking drawing them. Because there's not I've got nothing good. All I've got is a fucking claw pommer without block. Silly it's silly when you got a brain, isn't it? It is silly when you have a brain to go piling on first. I totally should have gone block. Totally should have gone block. I mean, he's lost in two games. Well, drawn two games. That was really bad by him, though, wasn't it? Going for a big gang foul on him, who couldn't really do anything. I guess he's just frustrated that he's lost. Well, he hasn't lost. He hasn't won. Frustrated that he hasn't won, but he might win. He's still got a chance, hasn't he? He's still got. A, the sad thing is, he's still got a fucking chance. Foul first. Wow. The good thing is I should have a I should have the six plus chance. I didn't want to do the GFI before I tried for the score of my own. If he scores a Tomb Guardian one, I'll be sad. He's really, he really can't do it. Fucking hell, if he gets this. Alright, he hasn't. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. It is silly compiling on first. I'm not using it due to my play style, it's because. I was out strength massively and I couldn't get two dice blocks with it. 59 blocks to 38. He absolutely dominated me. Uh, my play style is getting out bashed to fucking death. It's not really a play style, is it? It's That's the thing, you know, in the hard... That's what I said in those hard games. In the games that you draw, piling on or lose, you need that reliability to, like, give you a bit of a shot. So I spunked all of my bank there, so I'm down to 12 players. Down to 11 players. Time for a remake. No, I can't remake, obviously. 930 is alright, but um, it's just looking worse and worse, isn't it? Looking more like. Looking more like a fucking normal record. Those two. Like, those two draws. I should have won both of them. If I'd taken block, I would have won both those games, I think. 930 is still alright, but it's. Um, yeah. Yeah, my playstyle is getting bashed to death by everybody I play against. Um, I don't know how it happens, but it fucking happens. So you go down to 11 players. Down to 14, 10. At least I am... Um, at least I... Uh, at least I lost a fan factor. Um, but there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.